Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you are following us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Give us a five-star rating. It massively helps us out. Enjoy. It's quite a wholesome part of the show, actually, because we are throwing apologies out there. And I think I know someone on your apology list, Reeve. Oh, absolutely. He's there. He's number two. Well. Oh, I actually know two people on your list. Would you like to apologize to a certain robot? Oh, yeah. But who's the other one? A certain donkey you called. Oh, he's not on it. (laughs) What? I'm not going to apologize to him. (laughs) (laughs) To who? I think he's paying quite well. He's all right, but I mean, he's still... He's oh, you, really, you don't have to apologise <clears throat> to him. He can't. He's good, but he's he's still a donkey. Oh, he's very raw. Rude. He's so much fun to. Oh, that's 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 rude. That's so rude. <laughs> I love I love it. I'm, I'm, when <laughs> no, I say, harsh, no, when I say when I say donkey, I'm talking in terms of when you watch his touches, when you watch his close control. It it all looks lackluster. Like he's going to lose the ball. There was there was plenty of opportunities and one day in. one day you'll bump into him randomly at the Liverpool training ground and you won't be able to look him in the eye. I think I think he's a really really good footballer. He's very raw. <laughs> no, ba- no, 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 back it. If you're going to say it, back it. But there's, there's, that's fine. You can't call someone a donkey and a really good footballer. Yes, you can. You can't. You can. I think he brings like such good unpredictability to your team. Yeah, like, chaos, he has no yeah. clue. He's literally a chaos ball. Yeah. Player. I think I said it before, it's like subbing on like a tornado onto the pitch. Yeah. It's like, I have no idea what's going to happen now. <laughs> yeah. It's true. <laughs> subbing a tornado. <laughs> but I've got to be honest, the, the setup for Salah's goal is really quite impressive. He's not going to shag you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, uh, apologies to Erling Haaland, who I said he'd score 15 in the Premier League and he's already on 18. Do it, but how, how did you say he was going to score 15? No, because I said, he, said I, he was going to score 15. And he's gonna have a, he said Alvarez will have a better season than Haaland. Better career, I see. Better career. You said oh. Haaland would flop. No, I didn't. You did not. We did, we, did a, we did a flop or dub You basically said, said Haaland's going to have a rotter season. It's not going to be good. No. I said 40 I, whoa, plus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I... I <laughs> Yeah, but that's not- back it. It happened. Just accept the loss. Yeah, and apologise to him, Erling. I'm sorry. I'm, this is my fourth apology to you on this show. I think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, we'll get, um, plenty more to come. Yeah, uh, Kieran, do you have anyone to apologise? Who have you slated? Um, see, I, I just was struggling to think, which means I'm correct all the time. <laughs> um, but <laughs> I guess I believe it's one of your. I guess Lissandro Martinez. It's good apology, yeah. But it's I. But at the same time, I still sort of back it. Yeah. That, what that. did you say originally about him? Oh, he's just he's far too small and he's a bit shit. Okay. <laughs> um, well, the first part is actually real. That's fact. Yeah, and and I will if he has a bad game, and if there's any, he could defend successfully defend in like twenty games. Then he'll, he'll then he'll have <laughs> okay. one where he'll be where he's conceded a goal purely because of his height. <laughs> And then I will be, ah. Yeah. Because I'm like, you could have someone else who does all the rest, but isn't that small. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's actually on my list of players to apologise. Mm. I've only got two. And you've only got two? Yeah. After you call out like <laughs> half of the Premier League. <laughs> who have I called out? I can't remember. But, but there you go, know. because no one, I, I actually back a lot of players. That's mm. my issue. I think everyone's fucking amazing. Right. Mm. Uh, I'd like to form, formally apologise to Martinez. Mm. I didn't really say much about him, but I just feel like I owe him an apology. And Darwin Nunes for saying he'd be a flop. Well, he's not lived up to his eighty million price tag. Yeah, he's just okay. Okay, he, I think he exists. Uh, and the second player <laughs> I'd like to apologise to is actually Ruben Loftus Cheek. Oh, oh he's on mine. Well, I, on at the start of the season, we had to say the worst player each club. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's so harsh. Uh, look, don't blame me. Blame the producers. Mm. Um, they bought Kukurasis. I feel like a Bamiang. You know when BT were making him say shit. Just right, puppet, right, I'm, just, right. I'm just don't shoot the messenger well, you went through the entire squad at the point I went oh it's him and Ruben <laughs> I'd like to actually really say sorry to you because I felt bad saying it in, at the start and you're actually really good you also got bulletproof hamstrings now and you are an animal and Ruben I wish you all the best for this season you're playing fucking sick that's very but, sweet that's, very nice nice. Song, mm-hmm. yeah. that's good I feel like, that's a way, I feel like I'm going to cry yeah <laughs> I've, got a few, I've got a few more yeah I don't have anyone else uh, I, Danny can, I can think of one more. Danny, Danny Ward. Ward. So he's, I mean, Get him on the plane. He's having clean sheets now. He's doing his job properly. Good goalkeeper. Mm. Get him on the plane. Leicester are playing all right. So they play, apologies, Danny. They they play. They like they beat the the teams that are somehow worse than them. Yeah. And they still just lose to everyone else. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that's all you got to do to stay up, right? True. But they were top four contenders. Yeah, yeah, they were. <laughs> um, I've got. Christian Eriksen on here. I wasn't initially sure about his move to Manchester United. What? What do you mean, what? It's Christian Eriksen, man. He's going to mm. be sick, no matter where he goes. 
Yeah, but you always have reservations, don't you? Like going into a new club, they bought the they they didn't really purchase him to fill a problem that they had. They just realize, it was an excess. I realise it. Here. What I've apologised to one borderline two with Martinez. That means pretty much everything I say, <laughs> fact. Whereas you're part, mm. you're making a lot of like sorriness. And which means you're wrong quite a lot of the time. How, how many did you whistle that list down to? Yeah. You feel like you... Lewis did get five. And that was easy for you. Well, I could only get No, I, I mean, I had to put a whole club in here as, as one of them. Mate, so. you've, got, you've written a paragraph on that note. <laughs> <laughs> um, Carry on. Well, it, wasn't, it wasn't actually... Ericsson's not a real apology. Well, it clearly is. Carry on, mate. Um, and then my final one is probably Kovacic because I didn't include him in my top 10 midfielders list. So, sorry. I back it. He doesn't belong there. Yeah, man. Sorry, Kovacic. You're moving like a... Uh, Wetty, he's not top ten. He's around ten. He deserved a mention. That's the apology. Mm. That's the apology. He's, he is the, he's good enough to have been talked about, and we just didn't talk about him. Him and Kante actually, but Kante has been injured forever. So both of them. Did your opinion change after you saw him in his boxes? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> they, they weren't boxes. I saw, they were, they were just, I saw, they were I saw him flying. You know, a lot of footballers actually there. wear pants. Yeah, it's just, I don't understand it's it. It's chafing. Yeah, it's chafing. Boxes, yeah. But I don't sometimes. I wear Under Armour shorts. You know, like tighties. Yeah, yes. Yeah, like this. Uh, I can't pants. go for a run unless I'm wearing those. I can't play any sport unless I'm wearing the tight things. Really? Because the chafing's mm. that bad. She's got massive legs. Do you not put like chafing cream on? No, I'm not that keen. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about cycling? No, I'm not. Yeah, but shaving cream for cycling. I don't need to. Why would you do that? Ben would tell you to do that. He'd say, Theo, put shaving cream And on. I'll tell him, no. <laughs> right, right, okay. I'll tell you no. <laughs> well, I do wear it. So. I'll put it on for the Ironman, though. It's mainly for the wetsuit around my <laughs> neck. Because of the swim, swim. Yep. Um, quickly, I want to touch on the leads. They came back from 3-1 down. Showing a bit of resilience. Showing a bit of fight again. Mm. Somerville scoring. Yeah. Um... Jesse Marsh doing yeah. a good job yeah he's keeping him up <laughs> it's a good job for Leeds yeah right, I, I'm, I'm just annoyed about the Edmund Hall criticism yeah that's that, viral content and it doesn't be doesn't deserve to have a voice yeah Gabby what, what are you saying what's, what's he, he said? said they won he criticised Leeds fans for some reason oh, like yeah. the Champions League I'm yeah. like mate if you're 3-1 down and you win a Premier League Fuck, match 4-3 yeah. mm. in the last minute it's limbs and also it is a Champions League game and also it's a six pointer and like that's, a, that's against a team that they are competing against to stay in the Premier League with for Bournemouth anyway. and, and it's, it's, it's football it's oh, you don't play football. Football. football football the ball goes in the net and you go yay yeah. no, I don't, what, do you want to, what do you want what, what do you want Gabby what do you want them to do just go sick just like oh we should have done that from the start yeah like you right, not oh yeah it's a, a release of emotion do you know what you're I like, oh, when shit. people moan at people for celebrating a win and a goal yeah, yeah. It's, the, it's the number one thing football is about is goals and winning yeah, and fans. It, it doesn't matter. Well, that's why fa- yeah, but fans yeah, celebrate yeah. that. Do yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do, man. <laughs> um, so you think Leeds stay up? Do you think Bournemouth stay up? Who's staying uh, up? I actually can't Bournemouth. call who goes down at this point, man. I think it's I, I think it's Forest, Wolves, and then someone else. Think you think Wolves go down? Forest with all their signings, the Portuguese national side. <laughs> who's, who's, who's sitting <laughs> at the bottom? The Portuguese right now. C team. I, I, I thought Bournemouth were like tenth at some point. Yeah, they, they, they were. were they, they were like ninth. Yeah. They're now 17th. Cool. Yeah. That's and, like, really? That is, it shows you how quickly. Tom Garrett, Jesus. Tom Garrett, is he? He's loving every second of it. Bournemouth fans got in our case. They got in right. our case. We're like, they're going down. Yeah. We they didn't are sign going, anyone. They're going down. They're like, oh, we're, we're mid-table. You're going down. <laughs> yeah, but mid-table at a point where three points is was the gap between like 17th. And and I, I need to chat out Bournemouth. They are actually my, one of my, yeah, I went to uni. Yeah, you went uni there. Yeah, back at, back the cherries, man. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. Tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. I actually love Bournemouth. They're actually really good side. <laughs> I, I really back them. I used to like them. <laughs> They're really cool. I actually filmed a video with them. They're really nice guys. Bournemouth Football Club. Up the cherries. That's good. 